Hello everyone, this is the Muscle Nerd Jeff Anderson from naturalbodybuildingtips.com with another Muscle Nerd University fitness video lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to wheel your current fitness program into the emergency room as we look at three of the most common mistakes bodybuilders make with their training in the gym and how to cure the symptoms. Now, one of the most common bodybuilding illnesses is actually what I would term a neurological problem. And that's simply that your ego has taken control over your common sense and you're attempting to lift too much weight for your exercises. Now, I'm all for lifting heavy, but the fact is, is that the bar you loaded up beyond capacity that only allowed you to use half of your proper range of motion didn't impress anyone else around you, and it certainly didn't prime your muscles for optimum growth. Now, what's worse, by using improper form in order to cheat the bar through each impressive repetition, you're also risking serious injury. And all to be able to tell all of your friends that you can bench press about 20 pounds more than what you can actually handle. Well, forget trying to keep up with the Schwarzeneggers and the Coleman's and the other guys there, and stop trying to impress the redheaded Pilates instructor. You'll impress everyone a lot more inside and outside the gym by lifting intelligently with a weight that allows you to use perfect form, full range of motion, and the proper repetition ranges for steady muscle growth. Now, the second symptom to be concerned with is running out of energy to really get the most out of your workouts. Now, one reason for this may be that you just aren't doing enough outside the gym to provide yourself with enough fuel for inside the gym. In other words, it should be before workout preparation. You see, preparation for your workout begins long before you ever hit the gym floor. What you ate or drank the day before, the rest you allowed yourself the night before, all have a huge impact on how well you perform the next day when you tell your muscles it's time for action. Now, by making sure you stay properly hydrated, not just right before your workout, but all the time, and structuring your diet to provide your body with enough complex carbohydrates to give your muscles the glycogen they need to work at capacity, you'll find you'll have more than enough energy to make it through your session. Make sure you're consuming about 30 to 40% of your nutritional goals in the form of complex carbohydrates throughout the day, and try to consume some carbohydrates about one and a half to two hours before lifting. Now, another option you may want to try, especially if you're a morning workout person like me, is supplementing with caffeine right before you exercise. Now, of course, check with your doctor first, but studies have shown that caffeine intake right before exercising increases dopamine levels in the brain, allowing you to push harder and longer, increase your energy, and decrease post-workout fatigue. Now, if you get clearance from your doctor, try dissolving whole or half of a 200 milligram caffeine tablet in a strong cup of coffee or espresso. In total, it'll give you about 200 to 400 milligrams of caffeine for your workout. And try drinking it about 10 minutes before hitting the gym floor. And lastly, there's the lack of recording. Now, next time you're at the gym, take a look around and see who's actually using a training journal and diligently taking notes about their workout. Hardly anyone, and yet using a workout log is still the simplest and yet one of the most powerful tools you can use for making steady gains in the gym, if used correctly. Now, it doesn't have to be complicated, but simply recording the exercises that you use for your workout, the amount of weight that you used, the number of repetitions will all save you valuable time during your next workout since you won't be scratching your head trying to remember the amount of weight you used the last time you performed the same exercise. Now, most people find out about midway through their first set that either the weight is too much or too little to hit their target repetitions. And by then, you've just wasted a perfectly good set. Now, taking notes of other factors, such as whether an exercise that's new to you was effective or not, whether you prepared yourself enough, for that workout session and how many times have you gone to one of four different cable machines at your gym and discovered that 100 pounds on one machine feels like about 200 pounds on another well noting which machine you use for your previous workouts for the amount of weight and the number of repetitions will remind you how much weight to use with the equipment when you get there for your current workout all you need to do is become your gym's token muscle nerd and arm yourself with a simple, small notebook or download a free copy of my favorite training journal available in the videos at naturalbodybuildingtips.com and enter the gym with a plan in your hand. Remember, those who fail to plan, plan to fail. Okay, our examination is over and I didn't even make you cough. <laughs>
be sure to visit naturalbodybuildingtips.com and sign up for my free five-day video course entitled Evil Girl Scouts Fitness Secrets to learn how a group of sneaky little Girl Scouts taught me a valuable lesson in how to build muscle and burn body fat. Now, until the next video, this is the muscle nerd Jeff Anderson saying train hard and stay committed.